Hello, welcome to today's video. I'm going to be discussing what I think the grey boundaries for IGCSE Edexcel Maths Higher Paper June 2025 is going to be. Now, they messed up the papers. Uh, I think we can all agree that paper. They've actually come out and said that they messed up the papers. It's embarrassing, really. You guys pay for all your exams. They go straight to these exam boards. They don't go to your school, and they go to these exam boards to write quality exams. And the last second they changed paper two and therefore all, all the topics were messed up. So there was a lot of overlap uh, and it's not good enough. I think uh, you should take to social media, letting them know that it's not good enough and that you would like a refund personally. That's what I would be saying. Um, I've already written a formal complaint to them on your guys' behalf because I, I think it's embarrassing. So I think they're going to massively, I mean, it might work out in your guys' favour. I think they're massively going to decrease the grey boundaries because of it. Because there were no circle theorems, as an example. What, imagine if that was like your best topic and suddenly there's no circle theorems. In all of these exams that you can see on the screen now, they all had circle theorems on at least two questions. Five marks minimum across the two papers. And that could be the difference between an eight and a nine or a seven and a six, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and that's just one example of one topic. There were loads of topics that didn't show up. Uh, so anyway, rant over. Let's go on to my predictions. Um, you can try and spot trends, but ultimately it's more a psychology of how this year group is done. And the data suggests that this year group is a particularly smart year group uh, across the country. So you would expect your average score to be slightly higher. Uh, and that would normally suggest that the grey boundary is going to be higher. But actually, I think because they messed it up, I think that the grey boundaries are going to actually hold firm and be quite similar uh, to the previous kind of couple of years. As you can see, between November 2024 and June 2024, they're pretty much exactly the same. I mean, OK, so three difference there, four difference there. That's a big difference. That's a big difference. That just means that the data was skewed, i.e. there were lots of people in June uh, who scored uh, lower than in November. But I think we can see a benchmark there. Um, and this is what I think it's going to be. So I think a three is going to be, I mean, a three is a bit irrelevant, but I think a three is going to be 32. I think a four is going to be 44. I think a five, and this is where it's important, I think a five is going to actually stay fairly similar. 66, 67, but I think it's going to be 66. Six, I think it's going to be an 85. Uh, I think a seven is going to be even lower than that. I think it's going to be 105. I think an eight is going to be 132. And then I think a nine is going to be 158. These are all obviously out of 200, two papers of 100. And this is my June 2025 prediction. Let me know what you're aiming for. Let me know. And if you're like me, you counted up the scores, that, the marks that you know you got. So you, I know a lot of you have a number in your head. Let me know if that means you get the grade that you want. I Also, come back in uh, after results day and let me know how good my grade boundaries were when the actual grade boundaries are released because I, I'm pretty confident on these. I think I think I've cooked here. Um, good luck for your exams. Have a lovely summer and let me know how I've done after results day.